What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with my next review for um, Star Wars A Bad Batch uh, Season 1 Episode 4. So in this case, I wanted to do a quick uh, review just because it was a pretty, um, much like the past couple of episodes, it wasn't necessarily a um, full episode as far as um, things that happened, but it did bring, um, it did offer us a an idea of what is potentially going to happen as far as the future of Star Wars content, maybe. So the episode is titled Cornered, and in this case, the team has to make an emergency landing um, to um, pick up on supplies and things like that. So um, it was a matter of where they need to stop. They're running low on rations. Omega's getting not necessarily claustrophobic, but she's getting antsy because she's tired of having to stay on the ship all the time. So they find a planet to land on. They split up to work on getting, um, changing their transponder code so they can hide the ship because as it turns out, the their ship has been set up on a registry as enemies of the state or enemies of the empire. So there's that going on. But this particular episode ties directly into the Mandalorian in that we get our first animated look um, for Fennec Shan, played by Ming Na Wen. So this episode was notable for that because we potentially could get um a, a tie-in to not only the mandalorian but the rise of the bounty hunters and to find out what fennec has been up to um prior to what we see her in as far as the mandalorian goes so um we see her trying to not necessarily kidnap um, omega but trying to trick her into going back to camino because i guess she's being i, I assume that's going back to a camino because she's been hired to do that but potentially have other um parties interested in what Omega has to offer, maybe related to the clones. So um, with all of that, the sh episode did fly by pretty quickly. So um, I did enjoy seeing the animated version of that, the interactions with how Fennec was trying to um, trick Omega, um, how Omega is loyal to the Bad Batch because she's she sees how the guys have treated her fairly, treated her as an equal, listen to her, and take her on in these adventures versus an unknown in the form of Fennec. So, so um, I can't wait to see what they bring, what they do with over the next couple of episodes or for the rest of the season. I want to say there's only a couple of episodes left, because if, if memory serves them, there's only six episodes in this um, um, season for the Bad Batch, but don't quote me on that, so... Um, an intriguing connection here, so it's um, good to see an animated um, Ming Na Wen's character as far as Fennec Shan goes. Um, but basically, it's the team continuing to figure out how they're going to um, operate on their own as they make their way in the um, galaxy. And sorry, not six episodes, but potentially sixteen episodes. So a, um, a continuation, basically we're gonna, I'm hoping that we see how the team makes their way through the galaxy. Um, part of me wants to say that they um, team up with the Rebellion because they see what is going on. Um, they potentially meet up with um, Captain Rex because of their connection. So, or as far as being outside of the clone trooper program. So that connection may be there. Maybe they do become the separate arm of the rebellion as far as getting things done um, inside the empire because they're able to blend in and um, access things that get access to things that other people can or because just because they are the um, group that is able to do those kinds of things so overall not much else to say so this review is kind of be kind of quick good episode good to see Fennec Shand in this episode to tie in um, the Mandalorian to the Bad Batch. So I kind of want, can't wait to see what they do with that, with her character, or how they tie it in with um, the book of Boba Fett. Um, coming, I, I think if I remember right, later the, towards the end of 2021. Um, and I can't wait to see what they do with the rest of the season and wh uh, what happens with the Bad Batch as far as staying under the radar and um, 
trying to stay out of the eyes of the Empire and continuing to live their lives free, or if they try to uh, free some of their uh, regular clone, clone trooper brothers. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you want to get in touch with me, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is HeadphonesNeal.Reviews for past episodes, subscription links, and supporting the show and all of that good stuff. Um, and of course, if you subscribe to the podcast or you um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, then be sure to check out the recent post on my thoughts on Android 12's new feature and iteration of material design in the form of Material U. It's also on the podcast feed, but if you want the more visual um, look at it for um, a little bit more enhanced um, visuals on what I'm talking about, then definitely check it out on the YouTube channel. And that's youtube.com slash pateln01. But that's all there is for this particular episode and review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.